Like, that is a very interesting merge of uh, two very different things. I would love to say a whole lot more here, but I'd like this video to also stay monetized. So now that we have corporations in space, I knew I wanted to do something with SpaceX and dank daddy Elon. Hopefully he'll be alright here because, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be going 1,000 years into this Stellaris campaign. I kinda wonder if he's gonna be bringing any ganja up in space now that he has this new, like, 420 pastime. I don't know, that, that does seem like it would be kind of a distraction. SpaceX will obviously have the trait brand loyalty, as well as uh, private prospectors, and a couple other things that will hopefully keep them alive for a little bit. So it looks like in this game, our solar system has popped up in the eastern side of the Milky Way galaxy. Let's check if he's near anyone, this is kind of a big deal. No, it kinda, yeah, I think he's gonna be alright. There's a lot of possible systems for him to expand to. Which Elon has to deal with this uh, fallen empire to the north, which, I don't know, they, they might not be a problem. We'll, we'll see. And then he's got like robots or machine people out this way. You know, Elon said we were going to make it to Mars in like the 2030s, but now it's 150 years into the future and we still haven't made it yet. So that was a fucking lie. At all these new features, I'm most excited for this new observer mode. And now I don't have to just randomly try to guess on what's going on. We can just check out some of these AI empires, see their projected strength, easily find wars. That is gonna make things so much easier. We should also be able to determine a clear winner, which is gonna make things a lot simpler. I guess we could have done it in the past, but that is, uh, I think, gonna make these much better. Oh yeah, SpaceX's closest neighbor are uh, these robotic people. They've got just machine intelligence, things like that. Well, we should uh, not worry too much. They're off to kind of a slow start. Humans are already considered ruthless capitalists. That's great, didn't take long to get that. Willing to go to any length to acquire more wealth and resources for themselves. <laughs> Where's Papa Stalin when you need him? But we're off to a pretty good start so far, colonizing multiple systems now. Uh, we got something on Alpha Centauri it looks like, so that's nice. Things are already pretty jam-packed in the southern part of the galaxy. Doesn't look like a fun place to be. I'm sure we'll see a lot of wars pop up over here. Actually, one of these empires is already doing the best. They are way out ahead, at least in the beginning, and they look... Kind of terrifying. Like, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I don't know really how they're mating. They, they look disgusting. Now SpaceX still hasn't technically met anyone just yet. That'll change, but they're still doing all right. They're in third place and they actually have a pretty massive fleet. Or at least compared to like everyone else right now. And very slowly, this confederacy of the YMCA, yeah, they're, they're starting to approach human borders. That's an interesting combination. Like that is a very interesting merge of uh, two very different things. I would love to say a whole lot more here, but I'd like this video to also stay monetized. So they're gonna be accepting of different things, different alien species, but at the same time, they're also militaristic. I don't know, it, it actually might be a nice ally for SpaceX. Of course, the number one planet in the expansion planner of Elon Musk is Mars, unsurprisingly. He actually hasn't got there yet. I kind of wonder why. Oh, maybe that's why. It's because they found a pizza planet, Tuscany, an Italian planet. Yeah, he, he probably has to invest like all his resources there. I imagine everyone in this empire has a free Tesla, just kind of automatically. And they do allow robotic workers, so you know they're just pumping that stuff out every day. It looks like we now have our first major war going on. Somewhat major. I know there's been several conflicts before this point, but uh, yeah, SpaceX is involved. Uh, I'm a little worried for him. Although again, Elon is still keeping that amazing fleet. He might be all right, but... We'll kind of have to keep an eye on it. Oh, but he has a homie to back him up. And of course, it's the Confederacy of the YMCA. You know he had to do it to him. So they are the attackers during this war, and it looks like they have the advantage. I think it'll be fine, actually. All right, yeah, this has been going down for, I think, a while now. Oh, and they're fighting these two, a high kingdom and some autocracy, which these guys look pretty terrifying, but they're kind of on the other side of the galaxy. Should be all right. Okay, where did this come from? I've been checking for a while on this. Obviously, humans have been the only population inside of this empire. Not anymore. What is it? What is racket? It, oh. All right. Well, those are kind of cute. Maybe it's understandable. Wow. Okay. They are physically disgusting. <laughs> I was wrong. They're so ugly that they offend people. Well, I guess it's safe to say they're not sex slaves. There's also these big ass beetle things, which I mean, there's only six population of them. There's not really a lot of them running around. They live in arid climates. I don't know. Maybe they're like little bug pets. Perfect. And you know what? The slave market is actually just now online. 
I'm very excited for this. Pizza Planet, I think, could really use these things. Again, this is the final place that still is yet to be colonized. Elon could technically make it over here. I don't know if he will. He still has to worry about this fallen empire somewhat. Unsurprisingly, SpaceX is not liked very much by uh, these two places. They've been at war for a while, uh, but he does have some friends. These guys are close by, these ones aren't so much, but still that's good. But of course, these are the big baddies, the very big baddies, almost 500 pops. They're going crazy, and I think they are actually pretty aggressive too. They did find themselves in two different wars, one against SpaceX and the other against, I guess, two more. So that actually is a pretty good sign. They might slowly start losing some strength. So that's kind of unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. The last part of the galaxy that was pretty empty of course, was picked up by this aggressive, hugely populated empire. They're actually not number one, though. That's the surprising thing. It is whoever these people are. Oh, it's the Blorg. Or it's pretty much the Blorg. They also, I noticed, are having, like, shadow councils. That's pretty awesome. Unbeknownst to its own citizens, this society is actually manipulated from behind the scenes. The Illuminati is just leading this whole place. As you can see as well, there's been some faction changes. Uh, the first one got another member, and uh, the new one that popped up, kind of scary. These two look pretty powerful. SpaceX is third as they kind of wrap their borders up around this fallen empire and there's actually still room for them to expand. They're not too far behind. I think there's a chance they can catch up. Humans do have a defensive pack with those robotics right next to them. The androids, I don't know what they're called, but they've been pretty friendly for the most part. Uh, they're allowing SpaceX just to kind of dominate over this way. Oh, that's nice of us. We're also guaranteeing these guys who seem to be doing by far the worst right now. They're struggling. I don't know what we're getting out of this. Maybe, maybe they're gonna be our sex slaves. Oh no, Elon. I, <laughs> I regret putting you in charge. We've got half human things now, whatever they are. In the next like 500 years, we're probably all gonna look like this. Oh, these things are just running around everywhere. They're literally just spread throughout. Like most of the empires are now just full of these little crappy things. But uh, there are some places they're holding out like Whatever the fuck that is. Oh my god. Just look at how many branch offices they have opened. SpaceX is everywhere. No wonder they're surprisingly doing pretty well for their size. Damn, not just well. They're number one. Humans are just barely, but they are number one ahead of whatever these things are. Actually, I just noticed that there's a war going on between these two teams, which it doesn't look too good for these ones in the middle. They kind of smash into a tough area. I don't know if this means anything, but one side has an economic power of 2700, whereas the other, wow, yeah, no wonder. Which, that, that that's the side with the much bigger population. I don't think there's gonna be any end game crisis, or if there is, it, it didn't do very good. You'll see, but for the most part, everyone seems to handle it. Wow, I'm dumb. Okay, it was literally right in front of my face. Uh, <laughs> that explains how these guys lost the northern part of their empire. Let's see how this goes. Needless to say, they are incredibly powerful. Like, <laughs> if they just were to attack right now, no one would have a snowball's chance in hell. But they are pretty sexy. I will admit that. You gotta, you gotta admit that. I'm just glad No Nut November is over. Oh god, that's not good. How did they get down here? Uh, that's concerning. They might be hiding in other places as well. That's kind of odd. Who would have guessed the entire galaxy hates them? Like, everyone. Everyone hates them. They, they really are taking on every species out there. SpaceX is still by far number one. It's not even a question. They are, at least compared to this, I don't know, power projection thing, they're almost double their teammate. And I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. What the f <laughs> What is this? I, I've never seen this before. Who, who is this? They're robots. I guess that should have been obvious data bank. I don't know, did they make robots and they just turn against them? Tired of working in those car factories all day. I, I should have known. Elon Musk allowing robots to take over everything. <laughs> this should have been easily predictable. Anyways, good news is the uh, end game crisis is over. The eyeball things have left. Their beauty has decided to grace some other galaxy. Anyways, guys, here at the end, about a thousand years later, I didn't know the map would just get completely terrible at the end. I've never gone this far, but uh, SpaceX is still number one. You got to give them some credit for that. I really can't even see them, so I don't know how that's happening. I mean, I guess they're just a corporation. Do they really need to control that much stuff? I don't think so. They, they look like they're doing fine. Although I will admit, Elon has changed a lot. He's 
pretty much unrecognizable now. Humans, I guess, don't really exist, at least not in SpaceX. They're all like half other things. Yeah, they've they've just been mating with other stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what's going on anymore. I mean, I never did, but I'm just gonna say I'm really confused now. Uh, <laughs> anyways, let me know down below if you'd like to see more Stellaris. I did really enjoy this new like observer mechanic thing. Makes things a lot simpler. Still need to uh, probably figure out some ways to look at the more like battles that are going on, even though there are a couple wars that are happening. I, I guess I could have done more of that. We'll see. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Big thanks to my Patreon supporters, LPC, Furry Cruz, Elijah Senpai, Bruce Rocation, Jen's Love Disc, Mr. Diddlesman, Cooter Donkey, Destiny, Fuck 9000, Miss Argo, Maxi G, King Solomon, Ben Moke, Abraxas, Princess Emma, Tanner of the Nazareth, Raging Fruit, David Diaz, Papa Stalin of the Paintbrushes, Mr. Flying Sloth, Brandon Hinkle, Alfonso N6, Tem, The Lord of Silence, Beardy Dun 97, and Hatman.